Hi, um, we want to thank everybody so much for coming out here to the Grand Rapids Association of Realtors. My name is Elizabeth Mendenhall and I'm the Vice President of Committees for the National Association of Realtors. And I'm here today and proud to accompany the Homeownership Matters bus. This is a bus that's touring around the country and it's part of our campaign to support home ownership. And we've got a lot of realtors in the crowd here today in the Grand Rapids area who are um, proud to be part of this community, this thriving community with um, some great things going on and they represent the homeowners in this area. The National Association of Realtors Home Ownership Matters campaign is essential and it is definitely a pivotal part of where we are and where we stand as a community and as a country today. Homes don't just represent structures. Homes represent that place where we go at the end of the day. It's that place where we celebrate the great times in our lives. It's the place where we are surrounded by friends and family. And it's the place that we really make not just a house, but a home. That's why home ownership matters. And the policies today in Washington need to reflect America's commitment to the American dream. And especially here today in Michigan, we want to make sure that the Michigan realtors who are here to stand up for the thousands of homeowners in Michigan, we tell Washington, D.C. that home ownership is part of our priority. One of the issues that is under attack is the mortgage interest deduction. The mortgage interest deduction has been around for several decades and it is important that we continue to have that deduction in place. Our country's support of home ownership didn't just start yesterday. It needs to continue for decades on. And throughout this history, America has encouraged home ownership. With the mortgage interest deduction, we know that over 80% of people who itemize take that. And the, it's approximately $3,000 that they have then available to reinvest in their community, for retirement, for schools and education. Um, I'm proud to introduce today Lola Adu. Lola is the president of the Grand Rapids Association of Realtors here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and she's going to talk a little bit more about the mortgage interest deduction. So please welcome Lola. Thank you very much. The West Michigan community and the Grand Rapids Association of Realtors is very pleased to welcome Elizabeth Mendenhall to our local area, as well as the Home Ownership Tour Bus, which is going across the nation and Grand Rapids, Michigan is one of two stops in the state of Michigan. The mortgage interest deduction is a very important component of enabling home ownership in our local community as well as across the nation. In some West Michigan communities, that interest deduction is as high as $10,000. Now, it's important to recognize the fact that homeowners pay 80 to 90 percent of the tax in this nation. We are, an, homeowners are an important element in supporting and stabilizing the economic well-being, not just of West Michigan, but of the entire country. So when we look at eliminating the mortgage interest deduction, it has very real consequences and impact for people in our local area. But even beyond West Michigan, we need to appreciate the, the impact that this will have for Michigan as a whole. Because one of the things that's being proposed for the mortgage interest deduction is the elimination of this interest deduction for second homes entirely. What would that mean? Well, for homeowners who live in their second homes year round, that's a cut into their equity. And for many who are in West Michigan who own homes in the beautiful scenic areas of West Michigan, that also devalues equity and uh, makes it a less valuable investment. So protecting the mortgage interest deduction is something that realtors in West Michigan and across the nation are working very hard to support. We, um, on behalf of the realtors who are here, we want to encourage you if you have any questions about the local market or if you have need more information that you contact one of the, the many thousand local realtors who are here in the area they're experts in the neighborhood and they're experts in the community and we want to thank all of them for being here today and we want to thank you for coming out um, we're glad to take any questions that you may have
question is, is what actually is the impact if some of the mortgage interest deductions were eliminated? Is that correct? Yeah, we know that almost, again, I mentioned that kind of two-thirds of people who claim the mortgage interest deduction, they're middle to second home earners. Um, that does decrease the equity in the home. And so, unfortunately, that any time the equity is decreased, it can, it can evaluate, take a, somebody's chance to them to reselling that property. And for every home sale that occurs, that can create, for every two home sales that occurs, excuse me, that actually creates one job in the area. And so we're ta not just talking about home ownership, we're talking about building communities and unfortunately it impacts communities as a whole when we take away these deductions and we take away the benefits of owning, owning a home. And the question was that some who have suggested the elimination of a deduction for a second home don't really need that deduction. Okay, that's a, that's a good point. However, it's important to recognize that the average person who is taking the mortgage interest deduction, about 90% of those who take it actually earn $100,000 or less. We're not talking about the super wealthy. In fact, only 9% of the individuals who take the mortgage interest deduction earn over $200,000. So this is really an issue which impacts the middle class and the hardworking families of West Michigan and the nation. Yes. Would the RV in favor of maybe having it at, like, say, three or five or seven thousand dollars a year? You know, not giving it to the, the upper income, having to be part of a deal to tax control, to lack the tax code, maybe allow the economy to grow again, produce more jobs, produce more home sales. There's a lot of decisions that need to be made at our at our federal government, obviously. Um, you know, we're facing critical times and it's going to take strong leaders to make strong decisions. But one of the areas where we're not willing to compromise is in the area of home ownership. Um, this has been an American dream for centuries to come. And we know that people who own homes create stronger communities. We know that people who live in homes um, have more education. We know that people who live in homes have more equity and wealth. And, they, and the home ownership builds our communities. So the subsidies or, or the benefits, I would, I, would, I would use the word benefits, that we have had for many years, we want to continue those for years to come so that future generations can appreciate home ownership as we have for so long. We'll be glad to take any questions. Could we have the realtors all kind of wave and, and, and stand? We have many of them here today, so we want to thank them for coming out, and we certainly thank the press. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Grand Rapids Association of Realtors, we appreciate your presence here and this opportunity to have, bring attention to this very, very important issue in our economy on home ownership. Thank you. Thank you all very much.